All right, everybody, welcome back to CG Dealers channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable the tessellation displacement map in Unreal Engine 5.3. Right now, as you can see, we have a lot of depth in our texture right now. You can see that the pebbles and everything is popping out. And if I disable my tessellation, let me disable it. Right now, as you can see, when I disable the tessellation and the displacement map, for our Unreal Engine 5 landscape, everything looks pretty flat. So in this video, I'm going to show you how quickly you can set up and have this amazing depth in your textures for your landscape. So let's start. If you watched my previous video, you already know that my channel is demonetized. So I've decided to switch to Patreon. Becoming a Patreon member, you support me and this channel to keep evolving, to keep creating more and more interesting videos. Besides that, you have access to all the files that I've created from the start of my YouTube channel. So right now you can download the water shader, you can download the auto material from my previous video. If you didn't watch it, go and watch it. And you can have access to more in-depth videos about how the things work, like the auto material, the water shader, and a few more videos. And also you have access to a VIP Discord server only dedicated to my Patreon members, where I am active most of the time. So if you want to support the growth of this channel, and if you want to see more and more videos like this, go to my Patreon page, enroll now, and also you have access to everything that I'm creating. Thanks everyone. All right, everybody, hello again. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use the new displacement map in Unreal Engine 5.3 in order for you to achieve this tessellation effect on your landscape. Right now, Unreal Engine with the new version 5.3, it supports Nanite for landscape. So let me first create a little landscape. I'm gonna go in landscapes, create this one. I'm just gonna sculpt a little bit, all right? Also, if you didn't watch my landscape auto material, go and watch it. Here in the right corner of this video, you can click on it and watch the complete video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video in order for you not to miss more of this stuff. So, the first thing that you need to do in order for you to enable Nanite is you need to go to your uh, project folders. So, I'm going to right click, I'm going to click show in Explorer. All right, I'm going to wait. And I'm going to go into my root of the project folder, go into config, open the default engine ini file, double click on it. And it will open with a notepad. So here under render settings, I've added two lines, air.nanite.allow tessellation equal to one, air.nanite.tessellation is equal to one. So those comments you can find in the comments below of this video. So you need to add them here in the render settings for your project. So these settings should be added per project. If you start creating a new project, you need also to go to the default engine.ini and add them. Now I'm gonna hit file and save, all right? And now what you need to do is you need to reset your Unreal Engine. I already did that. So right now, when I go to my test folder, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a material. Let's say test tessellation, All right? This will be my test tessellation. From here, I'm going to add a player start and I'm going to drag and drop it over here. So when I hit play, my player can start from this position in order for me to test it out. And this tessellation material, when I double click, you can see right here at the bottom, displacement. So in Unreal Engine 5.3, you are now enabled to use displacement and tessellation, which is great. All right, so I downloaded a texture from Megascans, which is a shoreline, beach rocks. This is just for testing purposes. So I'm gonna select those three textures. I'm gonna drag and drop them over here, and I'm gonna start connecting them. The first one will go to my base cover, this is my normal map, it's going to my normal channel. And here I'm going to connect R to ambient occlusion. My green channel will go to my roughness and my blue channel will be my displacement over here. And I'm going to save. And right now nothing is happening. I'm going to click on my test tessellation material. I'm going to scroll a little bit. And here in the displacement settings, you can see magnitude and center, all right? From here, from the magnitude, you're gonna say how much tessellation 
and displacement effect you're gonna have on your landscape all right so let me minimize this and let's drag and drop this onto my landscape i'm just gonna delete my player start here and this will be my default so i'm gonna select my landscape and i'm gonna go into my landscape material go to my test drag and drop it over here wait a little bit and you can see it is pretty dense the tiling is pretty uh, bad so i'm gonna open it so i'm gonna right click and search for texture coordinates and I'm going to hook up the tiling to my UVs over here, UVs over there, and UVs over here. In order for me to start tiling this up, so I'm going to put 0 0.2, 0 0.2 as UNV. Click save, and this will go bigger. All right, pretty good. But right now, our surface looks flat. So if I start playing, you can see that it looks flat from here. All right, right now the tessellation is not working. And I wonder why. Right, right now we've connected everything over here, we've connected the U and V, and the tessellation should work. But for the landscape you have a few settings to bear in mind. So the first thing is when you select your landscape over here, you're gonna search for Nanite. And you need to enable Nanite over here, I'm enabling it. And the next step is to click build data. I'm gonna click build data, and you're gonna wait a little bit to build the data for the Unreal Engine Nanite. And after the data is built, you can see the tessellation now works pretty good. And right now we have like these crazy looking artifacts. This is because of the, let me just go into the material, of the magnitude. As I say, magnitude of 4 is pretty much under this placement. I select this one. Let's try magnitude of 0.25. I'm going to save it. Wait a little bit to compile the shader and let's see how this looks I'm gonna hit play and now as you can see you have depth in your texture over here running over here have this fake rocks pebbles over here and it looks pretty pretty good so with the new Unreal Engine 5.3 you can have pretty good tessellation and as you can see it works like a charm the FPS is pretty good and if you want to boost it up you can always play with the magnitude let's say 0 0.4 all right right now looking a little bit sharper yes this looks pretty good so this is how you can enable tessellation for your material and for Unreal Engine keep in mind to enable those two commands in the default engine ini file you can find them in the description below and yeah guys this is pretty big game changer for unreal engine they're stepping up so yeah guys thank you for watching if you like this video like and subscribe all right guys so this is how you can enable tessellation for unreal engine 5.3 and before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy. So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support me and get access to all my files, also to the auto material that I've created previously, join my Patreon page for $4.99 and with your pledge you're supporting me to keep creating amazing videos like this. Each one of you can make a big difference by supporting my channel so I can keep making those videos. Thank you guys for watching this video. Happy game development. I'm out.